Welcome into the Original Gang Shorts Podcast. I am Scott Bernstein, another quick hitter edition. Please remember to like, subscribe, share the OG pod, spread the word, and I'll keep bringing you the best content when it comes to true crime on the internet, uncovering the underworld here at OG Pod. Quick hitter, uh, John Gotti versus the KKK. Interesting anecdote came out in the Boise, Idaho press um, in the last couple of days that recounts a issue that John Gotti had when he was in prison in Marion, Illinois, the Dapper Don uh, doing his life sentence from 91 until he died in 02, um, had some type of beef with a very, very prominent uh, KKK Aryan Brotherhood uh, shot caller, a guy named uh, David Eden Lane, um, who is iconic in the world of uh, white supremacy, um, led a offshoot of the KKK known as the Order, um, was serving a life prison sentence for racketeering as well as the murder of a Jewish radio host out of Denver. That's where uh, Lane was from, also operated in uh, Idaho, Montana, California. And um, Gotti, I guess, was doing an interview with the New York Times from prison uh, in the 1990s and made some comments to these reporters uh, related to Lane and his dislike of Lane and how um, kind of what a hillbilly Lane was, uh, unsophisticated some of the interview had to do with Gotti's distaste for the food in federal prison, trying to uh, get the reporters to talk to the uh, Department of Corrections for him, the BOP. Uh, and he talked about how he wanted to be you know, eating linguine with clam sauce and lasagna and uh, ch chicken uh, Parmesan. And then he, I don't know if David Lane was there uh, where he could see him or he just referenced him to the reporters, but he made some comment uh, along the lines of, uh, you know, this, this uh, psycho from, from Idaho. Uh, he was wrong. He was from Denver, but he said something like this psycho from Idaho over here. Uh, you know, he doesn't know good food. Uh, he'd be happy with a hamburger every night. Um, and then from some prison um documents related to internal discipline. It looks like uh, Lane and Gotti had to be separated. Uh, I don't know how this plays into what we've always heard about when Gotti got to prison, he got attacked by a, a member of the, um, uh, the, the, the Black Muslims. And it was believed that he started paying members of the Aryan Brotherhood for protection I don't know if he was paying Lane uh, or who he was paying, but it seems like within that uh, arrangement, there there was some sort of uh, fallout, and and Gotti and this Lane guy uh, were at odds and butting heads. Um, again, David Lane um, he passed away in 2007 of a, a complications uh, regarding epilepsy. I believe he had a seizure and died in prison. Gotti died of, of cancer in 02. This was happening in the 1990s. Um, but it's interesting to see that kind of uh, cross-pollination of uh, Aryan Brotherhood, white supremacy, and the mafia, and how at one point they were working together in prison, uh, protecting Gotti, and then it seems like uh, Gotti... Um, alienated himself from them at some point and, and got into uh, a dispute with Lane. And obviously nothing happened. Uh, uh, there, I, I, at least there are no reported uh, instances of, of, a, of, of any type of physical altercation or attack. But uh, according to this recent report from uh, a Boise, Idaho media outlet, Gotti and David Eden Lane had a big beef in prison uh, the, the mafia versus the Ku Klux Klan in Marion, Illinois, uh, federal correctional uh, facility, which was the precursor to what we have now in Florence, 
uh, Colorado, the ADX, the Supermax for all of the worst of the worst in the in the BOP get locked up there, 23 hour lockdown. It was like that in Marion in the 90s. And that's where these guys were. So just interesting anecdote. Um, and, and it kind of flies in the face of the narrative that uh, Gotti had to run to the, the Aryan Brotherhood for help. And that might have been a case at some point in his prison uh, career. But based on this more recent reporting, it looks like at the end, Gotti and the Aryan Brotherhood, specifically David Lane, uh, were at odds and, and, and fighting. And David Lane, when he died, um, he got a lot more celebrated and um, a lot more fanfare within the underworld than John Gotti did. John Gotti, um, you know, his funeral was not the type of state funeral that you would have maybe expected where you had all these members of all these crime families from around the country coming to pay their respects. It was a much quieter uh, affair. A lot of uh, mafia dons told their soldiers not to attend. There were a lot of people that were upset with Gotti for all the attention that he had brought. And they believed that the, the Gotti reign was actually very detrimental to the mafia in America, but uh, more specifically in New York city. But when David Eden Lane passed away in 07, even though he was in prison, it was a really big deal with uh, members of the Aryan Brotherhood from around the country uh, doing memorials and um, vigils and acts of, of remembrance online. Uh, and it speaks to what a huge figure David Eden Lane was in the white supremacist movement. But we know now that him and John Gotti did not see eye to eye. And I just wanted to bring it to you guys and let you know, because I was I was interested by it and I figured you'd be interested by it too. So uh, until next time, another quick hitter edition at the OG Pod. I'm Scott Bernstein. I'm out.